So back in 2019, when Disney acquired 20th Century Fox, uh, part of that acquisition was uh, an animation film studio called Blue Sky. Blue Sky we, it has been around since the early days of the 2000s. Um, the big properties that they're known for are Ice Age. They've done all the Ice Age movies, um, which I think there's been like five. They were working on number six currently. Um uh, they did, uh, I think, Robots, the the Robots movie with Robin Williams from like 2004, 2005, somewhere through there. Um, uh, they also did like the Rio movies, like with the birds. Um, uh, very recently, they did uh, Spies in Disguise. Well, one of the new movies um, that Blue Sky has been working on, kind of a cutting edge movie, maybe not in terms of animation, but in terms of co animated content, uh, was an LGBTQ film called Nimona. Um, and apparently Disney doesn't exactly know what to do with this particular film. And so it is with, with, let me, let me back up. Disney is shutting down all of its Blue Sky um, properties. Uh, they're, they currently have three, um, projects on the horizon, uh, that are still coming out. Ice Age, uh, The Adventures of Buck Wild, uh, was it New, uh, Nino and Pedro, and they're doing Ron's Gone Wrong, which is kind of like a, a, a kid's robot movie. Uh, Nino and Pedro, is it Pedro? Sorry, I'm looking at the font is really, really tiny. Uh, Nino and Pedro is uh, kind of a spinoff from the Rio films. Of course, there's another Ice Age film coming out. And then an original film called Ron's Gone Wrong uh, about a kid's robot, sentient robot that comes to life and they become friends, right? Cool. But one of the other projects, like I mentioned, was this film Nimona, which uh, depicts uh, a sexually ambiguous uh, character called Nimona. It's based off of a comic book. Uh, and she uh, kind of goes off on these fantastical adventures. Uh, and the villains of the film are, uh, are a gay couple. Cool. Awesome. Um, we're, we're saying on the show all the time, you guys, representation matters. And telling stories that we haven't seen before, telling stories from different people's perspectives... Uh, is important, yes, because it's it's representation and it matters, but on a grander scale, you guys, we haven't seen these stories before. Like, how many times have we seen boy meets girl, boy and girl fall in love, boy and girl, something happens, and boy and girl uh, fall out of love each other, and then there's some kind of a fantastical event where they come back together, and that's the end of the movie. We've seen that story be played out in so many different ways, again and again and again, and without new perspectives, without other... Um, uh, people behind the camera and in front of the camera telling different types of stories. We're just rehashing the same material over and over and over again. This is only a good thing. So with Disney deciding to shut down Blue Sky Animation Studios, nobody was looking forward to this. And it's it's putting a lot of people out of work. And, and I, But I understand... I understand why they need to shut down the animation studio. I understand. I get it. They already have Pixar. They already have Disney original animation studios going on. I get it. Like they've got enough enough animated studios. They don't need a third animation studio, right? But here's the thing: they have like with these four films that are currently being worked on, three of them are still, they, they're still being released. They're still being finished. Disney is still investing the money to finish these films, but the Nimona film is being shelved. And now it's up to the director, to the producers, to shop this uh, film around to other studios, maybe like Netflix or Amazon Prime, or like somebody else. They need some kind of a savior if this film is ever going to see the light of day. And it's also, uh, t uh, it, it still needs like another 10 months of animation. They're not finished on it yet. They're still working on it. It, man, it's a, it's a disheartening story. It's a disheartening tale because I feel like, yes, I love Disney. Yes. I love all the stuff that Disney's putting out there, but this is one of those instances where we can look at a situation and say, Disney, why are you spending the money to finish ice age? 
Why are you spending the money to finish a, a movie about a boy and his robot buddy? Why are you spending the money uh, to finish a movie about, like, a, a spinoff from Rio about these two bird friends? Cool! I'm all for those movies. Good for you! But if you're going to spend the movie to finish the films that have already been started and exclude a very important what could be. No, who knows? This movie could be a steaming pile of garbage. Nobody knows. But we don't know unless we try. We need to give it legs. We need to give it the wings that it needs to soar. And if you're just going to say, nah, we, we, like, we're not, we're not going to finish this LGBT movie. Um, what are we doing? Ashley. This is uh, yeah. this is disheartening. Like I understand Disney's reasons for shutting down Blue Sky Entertainment, but when they're reaching out and saying, "Okay, well, uh, we're only going to take three of the four movies that you're working on right now to finish," it's uh, you're a lover of Disney as well. How frustrating is this for you? Like, like how? Do, like, where do you stand with this whole thing? I, I am. There's probably a couple factors, right? We don't know, like how far into production truly were they on the movie? Was it based on like purely economic choice for Disney of like, uh, are were the stars too big? Is the bit, foot of the bill too much right now? Not necessarily. I don't think the storyline. I don't think Disney's afraid of the storyline because um, they've been showing a little bit more in their like Disney Pixar short animation of LGBTQ representation. But you know, there could be like we don't we don't really know who's who's making those shot, shot calls. And you know, having a non conforming gender lead is a huge, huge deal, especially now, especially when uh, you know, pro talking about pronouns is becoming more widespread and more people are being more aware of it um and kind of helping you know i think especially animation shapes our youth right yeah. so it helps our youth comprehend maybe tough topics or things that parents don't understand or are above their generation of understanding and we learn that through animation so um yeah i am really really sad because i didn't know much about this movie to begin with until we just discussing it really today and i'm like oh that sounds great that sounds yeah, awesome no i exactly. don't think it's it's one of those stories that like uh i wouldn't have i if it wasn't for me like going out and like researching articles i probably wouldn't have found it but you know when the trailer would have dropped you know uh, don't judge your book by its cover until you experience it you know um, I want, this is one of those things that I would have liked to have experienced. And like I say before, just because it's an LGBTQ movie, just because it's an important film and it offers representation to, uh, to other demographics that usually don't get that same type of recognition doesn't automatically make it a good movie. It makes it a story that need, that's more important to put out there to help saturate the market. Um, but it doesn't automatically make it a good movie. Who knows? This could have been a terrible movie. But based on the popularity, based on the comic book, um, based on the buzz that has kind of been going, especially with names like Riz Ahmed and Chloe Grace Moretz attached to it, that definitely gets me interested in it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to see a thousand more Riz Ahmed movies. I find him very captivating as an actor. And also, you know, representation of, you know, someone who's not white yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that, like, let's more, please. And again, not to say that every film needs to be saturated with non-white people. It just like, let's just get like, when your representation currently covers 1% and then 99 is everything else is the same. Let's kind of try to equal it out a little bit. And with especially captivating people, like you said, like Riz Ahmed, um, my, like my goodness, what a, he was one of the outstanding portions to me about the Venom movie. Um, did he have a captivating performance? Not necessarily, but he's interesting. He's fun to watch. He's a good actor. It was a weird movie. It was a fun, weird movie, but like, yeah, why not? Anyway, guys, we can circle this topic yeah. for hours, uh, but I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts about um, 
Nimona being shelved. Do you think it's going to find life elsewhere? Maybe on Netflix, maybe on Amazon Prime, maybe on Apple TV+. Plus. That could be a really great place for it. Uh, but what are your thoughts? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know. All right, hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what this Mickey Mouse Walt Disney World snow globe would want you to do. When you wish upon a star.